Hi, it's Tom Hughes. Today we're going to talk with Adam Crane and Jessica Sade about TZD. What department are you in, Jessica? So I work for Goodyear County Health and Human Services. And can you tell me what TZD, I have to say it that way, otherwise I'm going to slur it all together. <laughs> so TZD stands for Toward Zero Deaths. Um, Toward Zero Death is based off of the belief that even one traffic-related um, death on our roads is unacceptable. So it first started off in Sweden in 1997, and since then several states have adopted the belief as well. And they've actually made it core objective within their um, strategic uh, highway safety plans. And it doesn't make any difference whether it's the driver of the car or the, the driver of the other car that the guy runs into or up, up on the sidewalk or whatever, right? It's just towards zero death. Correct. Yep. On our roads. And so we're working on driver behavior. So that's on both sides. So how can we protect ourselves? But then how can we also have safe drivers on our roads? And Adam, this has changed a little bit. Used to have, we used to have a couple different programs, didn't we? Yeah, there, there's the Towards Zero Death program, which was more of a, back prior to now, was more of an engineering thing. They would try to redesign roads to try to eliminate traffic crashes, and they called it Towards Zero Death. And then there was also the safe and sober aspect of it, which was what the police officers, deputies, and troopers did, um, going out there, citing speeders, not citing people for no seatbelt, arresting impaired drivers. And then there's also a a third program that's running for the 25 deadliest counties. It's called Operation Nightcap. Um, fortunately, Goodhue County is not one of them, so oh, good. that is a good mm -hmm. thing. Um, but yeah, so the state consolidated everything under under one program, and they now call it Towards Zero Death. However, they still do run the Operation Nightcap in those 25. Okay. It, does is this in effect all the time, or is it? Is there just certain times of the year around holidays where it goes into effect? So we have enforcement campaigns throughout the year. We have ones such as child seat and seat belts. We have distracted driving. We have speeding. And we also have impaired driving enforcement campaigns throughout the year. Nice. And what does your department do with TZD? So TZD, we work together um, on different strategies and focus areas. So our, our four focus areas are called the four E's. And so it's engineering, it's education, it's EMS, and then it's also enforcement. So we all work together to reduce crashes, which will then hopefully reduce our deaths on our roads. And so my part is the education part. Um, I work within the community and also within the schools, and I try to work with all the SAD programs within our county um, to see how we can work together at a young age to work on driving behaviors. But it's also important to make sure that we're reaching all ages, such as senior driving as well. And so. We have an enforcement grant and we also have a safe roads grant. And so enforcement within Goodhue County and then also um, public health, we work together to work on driving behaviors. Do you two work together sometimes on education? We, we, we do. Um, she'll bring some of the officers into the schools to talk with kids about certain things, seatbelt use, um, distracted driving. Um, they also do, uh, if you were ever up at the high school, they stencil, okay. please wear your seatbelt or buckle up on the sidewalks. That was part of her, and we were also there for that, just to, for, like, publicity, PA. Um, but, yeah, we, we work together a lot. She does a lot of the behind-the-doors type stuff, getting us the flyers to hand out, sometimes on traffic stops. During the program, if we're not going to issue a citation, um, we, we will hand out a flyer that says, this is why it's important to wear your seatbelt. It, it just makes all these bullet points, like, you know, it could save your life, it could save your family's life things like that, and she's, in, she's good at getting all those resources for us. But it isn't just don't drink and drive, it's just don't be a nitwit when you're in your vehicle, right? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Absolutely. Kind of pay attention to what you're doing and yeah. you know, well, we pretty easy to, oh, I got a text message here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. So what we've noticed is a lot of times um, people always think it's other people who aren't driving safe. They never look at their own driving behaviors. And so many times, you know, um, it's just looking at your own behaviors, trying to teach your children proper behaviors when they're at a younger age. But then it's also just to keep on um, evaluating your own driver, driving behaviors. So that's really important. Good it's deal. not just always everybody else. It's also we have to look at ourselves and what are we doing in the cars. So, Adam, do you have anything more to add? Yeah. So kind of how the program works is in Goodhue County, we have several different agencies that participate in the TZD program. It's the Red Wing Police Department, Cannon Falls Police Department. Goodhue County Sheriff's Office, Kenyon Police Department, and the City of Goodhue Police Department all operate under the TZD program. So how it works is we'll select certain areas where we want to enforce certain things. So like our move over, our Ted Foss move over law, we have really good luck enforcing that on 52. And that's actually where some troopers have been hit before. So 
Red Wing PD, Cannon Falls, Goodhue, Kenyon, the Goodhue County Sheriff's, and State Patrol will all saturate the 52 area between Pine Island and Cannon Falls and will stop cars for traffic violations. And then if cars aren't moving over for that officer, we'll have what we call shadow cars that will go and enforce those laws. So when you do see other agencies in town or if you see other agencies in Cannon Falls or Goodhue, it's usually because we're working the TZD wave and there's cops from different communities coming together to work one community, one area to enforce the traffic laws. So pay attention and be safe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, good deal. Thanks yep. guys for coming in. Thank you. Nice Thank job. You. Jessica Sade, Adam Crane, I'm Tom Hughes. Thanks for watching Red Wings Channel 6.